What's up? What's up? What is up? Uh, not much, man. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. That's good, yeah. We should uh, do a, you want to do a show? Hey, let's do a show. We should do a show. Let's do a show in five, four. four. Oh, so you don't say three? I think you're supposed to actually say three. Oh, okay, three, and then. And then, but then you don't say Okay, anything. gotcha. Welcome to the local pickup. I am Jason Broadwater. I am Chris Gervais. And today, we are very, very, very excited. We got a big deal episode. Big deal episode. You're not going to believe gonna it. It's going to break the internet. I know that you guys watch every episode that we make, and I know that y'all watch them like probably 10, 12, 15, 30 times in a row. We know that. Yeah. Our data. Yeah. Our data bro- shows our that. Our data said we broke the internet. It, our data says we broke the internet, yes. Um, which so, was horrifying. Which was terrible, really. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> about that. I just want to, we want to apologize <laughs> for that. But other than that, Chris and I, with Silent Micah, we went out to Santa Cruz, California. Mm-hmm. And uh, we spent two days with Richard Hoover. And it was awesome. It was amazing. And Santa Cruz Guitars... Um, we have an episode on it. You should watch it. It's really, really, really awesome. Those guys are just amazing. And they built a guitar. While we were out there, we were, um, they were designing a guitar for me. You know, that was kind of part of what we were doing. We were making the episode kind of about them and about their custom guitar building process. And so, and I, finding ourselves. And finding ourselves in, out in Santa Cruz, in the woods, <laughs> with Richard Hoover. <laughs> um, and they made me this guitar. Oh, it's a beaut. Which is just absolutely exceptional. It's an exceptional guitar. This is an OM body style. It's got a Sitka spruce top that's over 100 years old. This, this piece of wood on the top is over 100 years old. It's old growth Sitka spruce. Now, everything they do is um, responsibly harvested, so they don't cut down a tree that's over 100 years old. These are all trees that have fallen and we laughed about it in the episode, you know. The, mm-hmm. the I knocked a couple line. trees over. Yeah, we knocked a couple trees over. We were trees like, over. Chris. Oh, Chris. Uh, lovable mm. Chris, yeah. But no, like, there's a hotline that people would be like, Richard, <laughs> tree down. <laughs> you know? We got a tree down. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, he comes in on the rope. <laughs> he slides down. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, you know, it's all responsibly harvested stuff. It's a uh, 100-year-old Sitka spruce on top. It's a... Uh, Feathered mahogany. Um, I don't know if you how well you can see that, but it's a it's feathered in these you know upward directions. That's beautiful. Yes, yeah, gorgeous mahogany on the sides and back. Um, it's got this uh, shell, this power shell. I don't. I guess you say power. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. It's pow like, pow power shell. Yeah, it's like P U A U or something like that. Um, that's all harvested responsibly. That they built this tree of life design, which just these crazy neon colors are not fake chemical like that's the shell yeah uh that they're harvesting uh it's really incredible it's It's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful yeah it's a uh ebony um fingerboard with that shell in it it's uh, got these nice little frets that are almost like um rickenbackers um just small frets that make it so easy to play the nut here the width between the strings is wider than your average guitar because it's uh, more ergonomic to do it that way and, and um, it's, it's easier to kind of like a classical guitar where growing up I was always like why are the strings so far apart on a classical guitar yeah. it's because people are using their fingers to pick and they're going they're clawing at the guitar <laughs> when they're asleep or drunk or you know, yeah whatever it might be but when you're you doing that finger picking man you need the space in between the strings to yeah. get to it, you know. Yeah, it's it seems like yeah, it's almost counterintuitive that you'd be like, well, the closer the strings are together, the easier it's is to get to them strings. Right. Yeah. And I gotta go far. And it's but not. It's, the, it's the sort of the freedom between the strings and your fingers find it. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's ergonomically better for you uh, for like stress on your joints. And they're big on that too. Yeah. I mean, so it's like uh, these ebony. Uh, tuning pegs i mean everything about the guitar was a custom choice that i made um oh even using their script logo but not putting guitar company because you usually see santa cruz guitar company Uh and i was like 
I don't really need it to say guitar company because uh -huh. I know you're a guitar company and that seems redundant to me. So they, just, she was like, "Well, do you want us to just have it say Santa Cruz?" I'm like, "Sure." That's so cool. So they just did that just because I wanted yeah. it to. That's yeah. I guess if you go back and watch the episode yeah. where there are sort of mini documentary about the trip out there, you see Jason making all his choices and stuff. It's really incredible. And it's, man. They, have, they have a super cool logo too. And this is, I guess, they had. Their original logo from the 70s, I guess, when they started? Was it 70s? Right? Yeah, so they started in 76, and they did like a logo that was like just the letters. Like an insignia thing. Yes, yeah, like yeah. SCGC, Santa Cruz Guitar Company. Yeah. And it's scripty looking. Yeah. And then when they made the, uh, they did an all mahogany um, reboot of the um, uh, Depression era guitars. And when they did that, the SCGC that looked kind of mm -hmm. 70s just was out of place. So they did this old, like, yeah, I remember Richard saying it was it was based on the ice cream shop in the town yeah. where he grew up, here, yeah. which is so cool. That's so Santa Cruz gets so Richard it that, is. that it would you'd have this like part of his childhood and and that the, it's a very soulful guitar company, it, soulful. It, soulful, soulful, yeah, or soulful too, whatever. not soyful. N well, they probably soyful. It might actually, be soyful yeah. actually, but um, yeah, it's just beautiful and it just could not sound more amazing. String, I mean, everything's just, you know, nothing's standing out like a sore thumb. It's just mm -hmm. beautiful, beautifully sounding. They only make 400 guitars a year, mm -hmm. and each guitar they make is an exceptional creation. And it talks about it in, in detail in the video, so y'all you know, should go check out the other video, but it talks about how the difference in what they're doing is they don't make guitars to a specification, like size, depth, amount of inches, this, that, and the other. They make it to a sound. So they take this top, which is 100 years old, and they literally tap it and listen to it and they flip it over and when they put the bracing on it, they carve and listen and carve and listen and they keep it in tune, like in harmo harmony tune. That's the way the old um, Stradivari, you know, violin yeah, were made. Violin, yeah. yeah, and so Richard studied that. Yeah. And then that's what led to, and that's how they make guitars and that's why they can only make 400 of them a year. Yeah. But they're just in insane, man. Yeah, insane. when he talks about making guitars, he talks about violins because that's, that's behind, yes. that's the root of it all. That's where all this sort of science came from and stuff. And yeah, they, they definitely are just having been there and seen it, you know, up close and personal. It's just the extreme of like handmade, personal, yeah. slow, careful, for an, which makes sense for an instrument that a, a thing that will last forever yeah. reasonably, you know. And it says on their boxes and stuff, it says handmade and handed down. Yeah. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's the epitome of that. Of, of And you know, it's, it's crazy, like their price ranges are like anywhere from, their low-end guitars are like $5,000. Mm -hmm. You know, their high-end guitars are like $20,000. Yeah. And when I first learned that, I was like, how could a guitar yeah. cost $20,000? Yeah. Unless it was like old and rare as hell. Yeah. You know, but the reason why they're that expensive is because how much time, energy, effort, materials, craftsmanship do you put into a single instrument mm -hmm. based on the the requests of a single individual? Yeah. That's what it costs. Yeah, it's very much transcendent of the idea of just getting a guitar. Right. I mean it's buying a guitar. Yeah, it is yeah. something that like I mean, like, for instance, you made the choice you didn't want, like, a pickup in it or anything. Right, yeah. And that's because it's not really about that. Like, right. this is about existing as this thing that, like I said, you will have, you will, you'll see this guitar the rest of your life. Exactly. You know? And I hope that my grandchildren see it for the rest of their lives. Yeah. I mean, I hope that, like, 150 years later, a Broadwater is like, yeah, this was great granddad's yeah. guitar. You we'll know emerge I mean? in the post-apocalyptic nuclear fallout with this guitar <laughs> and, and their laser gun. Exactly. That's kind of cool. That's the beginning of your new movie. But yeah. <laughs> First scene. Yeah. <laughs> they call me Broadwater. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, it, it really is gorgeous. I mean, even the finish, like um, the, the burst, this kind of like, it's not exactly a tobacco burst, but it's kind of a tobacco burst. They, they uh, emailed me and said, send us photos of guitars that you like the burst on. That's awesome. And we'll custom make the burst to look like what you want it to look like. Yeah. I mean, everything was custom. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. And that, yeah, they're so, and it's, it's, I don't think YouTube is going to fully communicate just the, when you get up and look at this, it's hard. There's just a million little things about it oh, that yeah. it's just, you're like, that's craftsmanship. That's. It's just gorgeous, man. And it, and it sounds so good. I mean, you know, to play it kind of with, uh, as a chords, but without a pick, I, I, I just, we just got it. And so I'm very hesitant to play it with a pick yet. Yeah. You know, um, I even had him leave off the pick guard just because I thought, you know, this is a hundred year old piece of wood that's been painstakingly, the bracing has been carved to match this wood. And the idea of just gluing on a pit guard just seemed... Blasphemous. Blasphemous, kind of. I mean, even though obviously if they do it, it's, anything they do is going to be yeah, done right. Yeah, they know what they're doing, yeah. Yeah, but um, I just thought, I'm, I'm not planning to like bang this with a pick, you know what I mean? I'm planning to just, I've been, ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I've been more picking anyway uh, in all the songs I'm writing, you know, and it's just, but, um, but even without a pick, um, it's a, yeah, it's a nice, bright, vibrant sound regardless. Just amazing. And I'll just say this because we, the episode uh, where we're out there, we're just out there experiencing it. So I think now we should take the time to point out that the people at Santa Cruz Guitar are just so kind. Oh, and I know. like I said, yeah. it's just, it's a soulful place to be Absolutely. as soon as we were and that there. That all comes from Richard, man. Yeah. It starts with Richard. I mean, everybody else there, Carolyn, everybody there is super, super cool. They're the most beautiful people you're going to meet. But it all starts with Richard. He is just the most authentic wonderful person you're going to encounter. Yeah, that was the um, the takeaway. We were talking about this earlier. When I got home, it was just like, I, Richard's just it's one of those people where you just, you feel like you met this new friend. Oh, yeah. And he's yeah. just that kind of person. Yeah, yeah we're best friends. And yeah. So he's my like, best friend. No, he's my best friend. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think that that attitude is present in just floor to ceiling. Yeah. Everything about the company, including their guitars. And they don't name drop, like they don't even mention, um, you know, that they make, that he makes guitars for Brad Paisley, that he yeah. made a guitar for Eric Clapton, that he made, like he, that's not even in their vocabulary. Yeah. William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, he made, yeah, all, Man, he made a, all Shakespeare's guitars. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, and Henry VIII. <laughs> But they didn't have any headstock. He kept cutting off the headstock. He kept cutting off the headstock. Oh, that's funny. Hey! That's good, YouTube. A little literary Before humor you hit for you. that thumbs down button, <laughs> I want you to think about that I want joke. You think about what he You said. might want to unclick it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, what they make is couldn't be more beautiful. And, and like Richard says, it's the most sophisticated tool to make for your creative for your creativity. I'm sure I butchered whatever he Mine? said. Mine? For yours. Yeah, but the idea that like, he doesn't just make it like pretty, but it you could not make a better sounding instrument than they do. It right, tailor to the sound, sound you want. Yeah, 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 right. Whatever sound you're after, like yeah, they're gonna nail it. Which was wall. cool, cause he was kinda, he listened to me play. I mean, he had me sit there and play and he like studied me. And he was like, yeah. You know, you play a multitude of different styles. You, sometimes you come forward and lead, and sometimes you lay back in chords. And yeah. he's like, therefore, I think we should do a spruce top with Adirondack bracing. Even the glue. He made a decision on the glue they used based on watching me play the yeah. guitar. I mean, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. Yeah. The level of personalization is just insane. Got correct. The, uh, correct. These ebony pins with the little dot. This is a real bone. That's not how you play guitar. <laughs> it's not. These buttons aren't working. Uh, it's a real bone saddle here. You got, uh, I mean, just everything about it is first class. First class. Yeah, I definitely think if it's, if it's all about investing in the acoustic guitar that is like your guitar, yeah. that's your thing, I can't imagine someone doing it better than Santa Cruz. Well... Check out Santa Cruz. Um, they're definitely, they're the best at what they do. 
every, you know, people do different things, um, but what they do, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like other guitar makers aren't trying to yeah. be Santa Cruz. I mean, I thought you, know, you meant like firemen, put out right, fires. Yeah, right, yeah, and mayors. We don't know what mayors <laughs> do. They mayor. They mayor. They mayoral things. <laughs> like the, what's his name, John Mayer. Mayor McCheese. <laughs> John Mayer. <laughs> Yeah, and I moved on to a new <laughs> job, and John Wasn't Mayer was good. A mayor? I think of something. I mean, that's how yeah. you got the name, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not an internet master. <laughs> but I think that John Mayer was... Was like in was Utah or mayor. something? Yeah, he was in Utah being, <laughs> <laughs> making rules, <laughs> delegating. Um, actually, none of that's accurate. No. Um, he was a... Fa quick fact check. <laughs> <laughs> quick fact check. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, what I mean is different guitar makers are trying to do different things. And um, what Santa Cruz does is they make the most sophisticated, high-end instrument tailored to whoever's buying it. Um, and nobody does it better than they do. And <sighs> yeah, just gorgeous. And I'm honored to own one. I will own it for the rest of my life. And I hope that I live for a very long time. <laughs> and I hope I live forever. <laughs> Unrelated. Freeze me. <laughs> seriously. No, seriously. Yeah. Not now, though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't that would be freezing. terrible. Yeah. Eventually. Michael, put that away. I didn't mean yeah. now. <laughs> right before I die. Yeah, right. Freeze me. Like right now. Within seconds. Yeah. But then go back in time and make me younger. Yeah. <laughs> put lipstick on me and stuff. Oil of old age. <laughs> Oil of old age. <laughs> so, put I'm, some Jergens on me and freeze me. <laughs> Cover me, cover me in KY and then freeze me. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> A simple request. Um, all right, well, I'm going to stop. Good. <laughs> and uh, say that uh, Ghost Santa, Santa Cruz, Cruz is not in George Joe's <laughs> Santa Cruz is not responsible for, <laughs> yeah. for the content of this, of this podcast or whatever we're doing. Um, with our lives. Are you recording this? <laughs> <laughs> is YouTube on? <laughs> Turn on the YouTube. <laughs> um, and that's it. I'm going to stop. That's Santa Cruz. Bye. Yeah.